John with Optrix here, and today we're going to talk a little bit about the Optrix Video Sport app. The Video Sport app is something that uh, we've taken pretty seriously here at Optrix. It's not just an app for app's sake. We want to make sure you get the best possible action video footage when you record with an XD4 and XD5, and this app is going to give it to you. So once you download the app, I'm going to show you pretty quickly how and why we do it. So we've got the app going here, and the first thing it's going to do is what's called focus lock. And focus lock is really, really important when you're recording action video because it's going to keep you from getting that wavy look to your video. When you hit the focus lock, well, I should start and say that when you have autofocus like you do on an iPhone, and you're recording as you're, say, mountain biking down a trail, what's going to happen is that autofocus is going to like focus on a tree, and then rock, and then another tree, and it's going to give you that wavy video. So before you record any video, you want to make sure you hit the focus lock. The best thing for focus lock is actually to set it at infinity. Apple doesn't really allow us to set it for you, so what you want to do is take your device, aim it at something far away, a far away tree, or if you're racing a car, or maybe something far away in the pit, and you want to hit that focus lock. Once you've got that focus lock, you're going to see that the padlock is locked, now you can hit record and you're going to get nice, stable video. Uh, you're not going to get any of that waviness. What I hit over here, I should have showed you that. This is actually the settings, which is the bottom right-hand side. You hit settings, you're going to get access to things like video quality, 1080p, which is full HD, all the way down. If you're going to be doing something like uploading to YouTube or Facebook or anything like that, or you just want to record a lot of video and not take up much space on your phone, this is the right way to do it. You can degrade from 1080p, which is HD, 720, which is actually still considered high def, and then kind of the lower resolutions here. 640 by 480 is kind of like your standard old school TV picture. Frames per second is the number of, of shots it takes per second. Uh, 30 frames a second is going to give you a little bit smoother video, whereas a lower setting, 15, 20, is actually going to give you a faster looking video. So if you want to get something that has a bigger perception of speed, uh, but might be a little bit more jittery, you can lower the frames per second. The other thing I want to talk to you about is, you see that when you use our app, uh, well, I should put it in a case to show you this, you're going to get a nice clear picture all the way around. One of the problems that you have with the standard camera app is you can get what's called vignetting here on the edge. So if I go to a standard camera app here, Now, even though this is in, in camera, you still can see that you get these black corners on the edge of your camera app. It's called vignetting. We optimize our app to work with a wide-angle lens to make sure that you get a crystal clear, clear picture all the way across, and these aren't going to show up on your video. We're one of the few companies that do this, and so you're always going to get, with the Optics Video Sport app, a nice, clear, steady, no black corner uh, video. So, these are just a few reasons to go out and download the free Optics Video Sport app.